Hello and welcome to this assignment walkthrough video for the DHIS2 curriculum developed by Logical Outcomes. My name is Nicholas Santillo and in this video I'm joined by Sarah Godin and together we look at how to enter data for event capture programs in DHIS2. Okay, I'm here again with Sarah. Hey Sarah, how's it going? It's going great. Thanks, Nicholas. Nice, nice. And we're ready to do some data entry for event capture today, yeah? Yes. Okay. So we have uh, we have set up a an event. It's a school counselor visit. And so we've set it up to be part of our Toronto schools. Mm -hmm. So first I'm going to click into our Toronto schools from our hierarchy on the side. Now the program became available. There's only one. So mm -hmm. again, if you can't see it, it means your user role isn't assigned to this program. So when I click the event, I've got to register it. So we've set up this event to have only two questions, two data elements, visit a, a purpose of visit and age of student. So always with events and with tracker capture, you're going to have a date assigned to the form that you're filling out. Mm -hmm. So you'll notice that that's mandatory. Um, and then our answers, we can just click them. The student was 19. Um, and we can say this marks a complete event. So saving and add new just means we'll start a new event. We could just do, you know, event after event after event. Mm -hmm. Or if I save and go back, it should uh, just take me to the event screen where I'll just have a list, <clears throat> excuse me, just a list of all the different events. So okay. I can click on the date and that'll open up the event box again where I can see my questions. Okay, so if we go back there, uh, to that screen. Can, when we click show and hide columns so we can see a little bit more clarity, mm. if, if we yeah, add those two data elements uh, and then we can actually compare uh, mm. each event is one row and uh, we'll have just row after row here. So there's a nice way of, of when you have a number of events one after the other you can just see them all and compare them and those up down arrows you can actually click to organize them by smallest to greatest or one mm -hmm. or the other, right? Alphabetic, yep, mm -hmm. that's great. Yeah, and a nice way to print it out as well, a printer-friendly uh, oh, yeah. kind of format. Perfect. So that's about it for event capture. Again, we uh, we were here, so I didn't highlight the icon at the beginning. Mm -hmm. But with events, when you want to then pull reports on them, you would use event report or event visualizer, depending if you want a table or a graph. Great. Okay, I think that's that's about good enough. It's just finding where you want to go and then mm -hmm. entering, making sure you register that event. That's that's the difference between uh, this and aggregate. Whereas in aggregate, you say form complete, and this one you want to register your event. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Well, thanks so much, Sarah. I think that's it. Thank you. That's all for now. As always, you can get in touch with us at info at logicaloutcomes.net or on our YouTube channel, Logical 